Hello everybody, my name is Ahmed Nomadic, spelled with a K-N-O-W-M-A-D-I-C. I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta, one of the greatest cities for artistic endeavors. I'm a poet, comedian, just a human being trying to achieve whatever I can in this society and that's who I am. Who are you? Are you suffering from terrorism? Do you wake up in the morning, afternoon or night seeing Asian? Are you fearful of Mexicans and borders being placed in the same sentence? Does the smell of curry remind you of body sweat? Do you find yourself clutching your press and walking past a black guy? If so, you may be suffering from what is known as ignorance. I and the people I get with it, it's 2013, would like to announce there is a cure. We understand that ignorance is a serious illness that affects teenagers and adults alike. It does not discriminate, however, the people suffering do. In North America alone, there is said to be nearly 200 million people that live with ignorance. Unlike other illnesses, people who are surrounded by ignorance often receive what is called unnecessary animosity generating resentment syndrome, but for short, mad hate. So I and the people that get with it as 2013 would like to present a cure to ignorance that is natural, affordable, and has been around for centuries. Knowledge. And knowledge has been proven to release severe cases of ethnocentrism, racism, and has been extremely effective in removing certain stereotypes. If you suffer from illiteracy, sexism, homophobia, others, make sure to contact your local librarian and read the necessary text required before moving on to a higher concentration of knowledge. Be sure not to mix knowledge with conspiracy. The effects are unknown and have yet not been proven. When consuming knowledge, see quiet space, finish knowledge direct it, and do not step unless otherwise stated. See, me and my partners that get with it as 2013 can guarantee knowledge works, but we just can't guarantee it's you, so here are a few testimonies. You know what? I always want to know why black people love chicken and watermelon so damn much. But thanks to knowledge, I don't waste my time on silly things that taste good because they do taste good. I focus on how the government can help me provide for my kids. You know what? I always want to bomb my ramp. Knowledge helped me realize I didn't even know how I ran was. But now I do. But thanks to knowledge, I don't want to bomb them anymore. Side effects include tolerance, understanding, admiration, include risks or generosity is not foreseen. Love and pride are rare, but have been noted in some cases. Other side effects include mind being completely blown as to how you've never realized life without ignorance. Ask yourself if knowledge is for you. If so, do everyone a favor and get some.